if you're looking at someone who wants to be a good actor i think what he needs to be is to be very honest kumar is a dream you know i did a film in tamil is to a good kumar i've been greatly influenced by the uh, malayalam cinema of the 80s george sir's films if you look at the kani kudi you can't take out a frame or you can you cannot add a frame Fahad, welcome to Chat Masala. Bharadwaj and I are just delighted to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When you started uh, your rebooted career, uh, mm-hmm. at what point did you say that that, or did you feel that you were actually becoming uh, the kind of you know? Okay, yes, I can feel this. I I know I can do this. I can you know uh, because you were doing these small roles in cocktail and uh, yeah, like yeah. a fair kind of thing. But then you know, at what point did you feel that? You know what? Yes, I can. I think it's. I still don't feel that actually. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> See, I uh, for me, you know, um, um, I'm just as good as my other actors, my other co-actors. So I don't believe I can do this alone. Or the entire thing happens alone. Uh, I think it's a complete interaction of uh, everyone on the set, it's not just the actors or the technicians, but even the guy who wakes me up with a cup of tea. Uh, so. uh for me it's it's absolutely a trial and error process you know that's why i say that i'm never done no i feel incomplete in the few interviews that you've given you say that you don't prep um you know that that you you don't sort of like go into some massive deep prep for a role you like to approach it you know without prep um, so what is the fahad fasal process is it pure spontaneity <laughs> or or is there a conscious craft there no um <clears throat> see um i believe that i have no sense of music i have no sense of filmmaking um, you know i i have no sense of other crafts of in you know, other crafts that's involved in cinema so i am always at the liberty to say why don't you try this way so it's like it's like because i don't know it i can say anything you know and that gets my i think my team working or you know i, I think that excites my director i have noticed that you know every time i've said something you know which actually sounds weird to others my directors have got excited uh, especially dilish you know dilish has that you know you go sit next to him he's explaining a scene and suddenly out of the box you tell him something he'll pick on that you know he'll pick on that and he'll you know make you work on it and so i think uh, my prep is actually to um, what i you know constantly do is i i uh, i interact with my writer and my director and my uh, dop on the sets and you know for me the filming process is very uh, i never f- finish my films on schedule because the filming process actually takes a lot of time you know that's where the trial and error thing is it's not even post uh, shoot post shoot and all is like cake walk you know because we wait, most of the time we very clear but while capturing that is the most uh, uh, challenging process for me so you you you're creating as you go along you don't have you don't sort of come into a set with prior ideas about what this character should be um i might have a one line you know we might have see most of the time we have a climax okay you know we 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 know this is how we want to conclude or this is where how the conclusion should be and that changes that changes like five days into shoot <laughs> you know so uh, so uh, i think the drive to shoot is to achieve uh, what we actually thought initially the uh, the fire that we had for a, a idea so the initial shoot days is to actually get that uh, to capture that and once we capture that that's when things start growing you know i mean let's let's go like this let's go like that you know uh, so it's, it's interesting uh, it's difficult but it's very interesting i love it yeah. fahad anjali told us one thing that that uh, you used in bangalore day she said that the very first meeting that you had with her she described das the character as a noble warrior and then she said you guys didn't meet for a long time and then when you came on the set the way you carried yourself uh, she felt like you remember that one description of that character and kind of used that that phrase noble warrior to uh, uh, to emote and she said that after the film a lot of people came up to me and said das looks so noble you know that character was so noble and she didn't even like you know had she, she was like do specific phrases like that uh, you know help you hold on to things yes very much see uh, like when you work with anjali uh, the least i think uh, you can do is to be just there you know just be there keep listening uh, there's so much definitions in the way she actually uh, executes a scene uh, so for me the uh, 
when she narrated uh, bangalore days to me uh, the rest of the cast were not finalized only my character was actually finalized so uh, eventually she uh, ended up casting all my good friends dulkar and uh, nivin and uh, nazria who i eventually met you know so um, that was very difficult for me you know she she told me you need to be cut you know she wouldn't let me have dinner with them she wouldn't let me go out with them you know she would just cut off you know just cut off the <laughs> stare of it you know so i mean uh, they you know some filmmakers they groom you even without you knowing and i've been very fortunate that way you know i've been interacting with a lot of filmmakers who actually you, you know actually prepares you for a lot of things that and you're not very really aware of it but you know you sort of uh, get that so that 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 phrase kind of unlocks something in you when you are looking at the character or reading the script exactly yes sundi mudal uh, the only thing i knew about uh, the character was that uh, uh the the line he tells the uh, you know he tells that kaliyagula sare ee prayathilulla kutiyalukku nalla veshapa irukku which means uh, don't make fun of the kid you know basically kids who are around 13 14 they 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 are, they are angry so that's the only thing i knew about the character uh, when i went to shoot the started shooting it but that stayed that you know that one line stayed so i i actually worked on that character with that line so you know, sometimes it helps you know so when when in tondi mutalam that interval point where you're you, till then you're saying i haven't taken the necklace i haven't taken the necklace but then the doctor puts up the x ray uh, and then you know you see the outline of the necklace and then at that point what you see in the char- in your character is not it's not guilt it's not it's not a you just give it this smile like a little kid who's yeah. hand is in the cookie jar uh, yeah. <laughs> that that again you know is it is it like a dilish thing is that a fahad thing is that how does that that it's i think it's a belief in raji very thing i think right from the beginning i knew that i took the chain you know so as an actor i had a lot of limitations you know i mean for that particular moment the moment i'm caught uh, i went na as raji even um, uh, dilish what should i do and dilish is just smile man the smile is up you know <laughs> so i mean yeah so if you notice uh, that shot is actually out of focus we tried a shot after that Uh, Dilish said, "No, let's keep the shot. It's out of focus." You know, <laughs> so like I believe it happens. You know, it's it's a it's very organic and it, it happens. I guess. There's some alchemy on the sets, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I have I have uh, like I'm I'm very honest about it. I've never walked into a set prepared, and the moment I have to go prepared, I think I'll collapse there. You know, like. so when i work in tamil and all that my biggest uh, i i you know when i talk to kumar i keep telling him my biggest problem is that I, because i don't think in tamil uh, it's very difficult you know i go there and i tell him in english and i speak to him in tamil english and then translate it to my language then by heart the line so for me that 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 process is actually you know i i don't know that that's uh, i'm not a fan of that process i want to do a tamil and hindi film but i speak malayalam Kumar Raja told us while working on Super Deluxe that you knew a few Tamil words. You spoke about this a little earlier. Yeah. He, said, he said you knew Medu Vada. He said you knew Dosa, and he said, <laughs> he said you, and you knew this word Yerithal, which is short for Yerithalan, which is what you used to call him. He used to call him Yerithal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was completely amazed by the fact that you dubbed for the film yourself. and with all the emotions intact and he when he spoke to me it was like he sighted a ufo or something like that you know so it's just like a, <laughs> how what is what happens there how do you do that it's like uh, the language that you don't know you're dubbing yourself you know i think i have to give it to kumar because see i was very skeptical about i i i wanted to do a film with kumar but i wanted to be in real to be very honest like uh, i i actually went to kumar five years back even before he started thinking about super deluxe and i said let's do a film in malayalam and i got him all the way to coach and then i uh and he said no much as it was and he left me back to chennai and then um, he called me for super delex and i met him and so i like i said i was very skeptical about uh, you know i can't think in this language and if if you if you do it with a person who speaks and thinks in tamil uh, you know you can work wonders with that character again you know so i kept pushing him to do it with another actor who can speak and you know understand them I mean, so he was adamant he said no you try its language man it's just language you know just just try it. so one thing i realized while i was shooting for that film is that i started talking in tamil like you know i started interacting with people in tamil and then i mean i so 
if I if I spend time there, I'll get used to the language. That's what I've realized about Tamil. And uh, and also my that my father, he, he's made films in Tamil and all right. that. So so yeah. And to, to to think about it's actually a very beautiful language. Uh, so to by heart, then it's very easy. You know, it's very easy to there's a there's a you know there's a it's like a song. It's like learning a song. So it was easy to buy out the lines uh, in Tamil. Can you believe that? You know. Uh, so I, I, I saw. I'm one of the few people who've seen um, um, Kumar's first film in theaters. Yeah. You know, uh, and that we should I, film. I, I've told him also. I know. I know. I know. See, I, I saw the film, and I, that was during the edit of Chapa Gurish. Chapa Gurish was the first uh, digital film to be made in uh, Kerala ten years back. So when we were shooting the film, there were people from theaters and all. They used to come and hang around the sets, and they say they're not using the mics or not. I don't think it's going to work. You know, they would spread the news that uh, the film is not going to work. It's going to be dark and all that. So that's when I uh, watched Darunya Gandam, and I said, uh, "You don't need lights and all, man. You don't need to see anything on screen. Just make them feel the film. That's all." <laughs> so you know, <laughs> so Kumar is uh, Kumar is a dream. Um, you know, I. I primarily I did a film in Tamil is to work with Kumar. I because I I knew that I cannot make a film with him in Malayalam. I can never convince him to do that. So did he well go to Chennai? And did did he make you do two hundred takes? That's average. <laughs> with me, I think we've gone like five hundred, five hundred fifty takes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and what's exciting is. You know, I know that I've done around sixty-three, sixty-five takes for him. Next day he'll come and he says, uh, "The seventeenth take, that look was perfect, but the twelfth take, I like the, uh, the rendering. The you know, the delivery was better than the twelfth take. Mm -hmm. But as a whole, I like the thirty-fifth take. You know, <laughs> he'll, he'll, you know, <laughs> it's, you know, I, I'm very fortunate to have actually, you know, work with." Such great talents. Like, even Dilish is, you know, as crazy as this. Mayesh, you know. So there's so much to learn from these guys that you know you never want to stop working with them. Which role took the most out of you? All the roles. Really? All the roles. Yeah, yeah. Nothing is easy. All the roles. No, 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 no. Easiest is to read the reviews. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I uh, it's you know the way I work. People close to me uh, keeps telling me that you know, you know, you have to do this for a long time, so you have to take it slow. You know, uh, or you know, uh, you have to be very clear. You're doing only you know so many things at a time. Uh, but uh, the fact is that it's 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 just amazing to you know get people to react to uh, emotions or. You know, smile at you. Or, I think that entire thing is very exciting. Yeah. And I discovered this much late in my life. You know, I I was not trained. I was not trained to be an actor or anything. Uh, and I'm a person who actually uh, tasted success much too late in my career. Uh, so, so once I started tasting it, the uh, I think the entire connection was very beautiful. You know. So, uh, yeah. So. Um, for me, it's very important to actually uh, feel for the character or, or the uh, the story that I'm actually playing. I need to I need to believe that uh, this is something that could happen or that's happened. Or, you know, I need to have that connect to a story or, or or a plot. But is it true that when you were doing take off with Parvati, you asked her how her character? Signature would be like how would she sign her own name? And yeah. So explain how does a detail like that affect what you're doing? Well, um, so uh, there's another thing also. Uh, my portion was shot a month before uh, Paruti joined uh, the sets actually. So uh, and most of our sequences are uh, it was on phone calls. So uh, my first day of shoot was a conversation with Paruti. And uh, so I, you know, basically I called her up and asked where she was, and she was with her friends and all that. So I said, "Will you read out the scenes to me?" And uh, she read it out. You know, it, she read it like, you know, just like that. And I emoted, and we got the shot. Eventually, when I saw the film, she 
did it the way just the way she read it to me you know there was no the marking there was there was no change in the way she actually read it to me so uh, what fascinated me was uh, she, you know once i think after she read the script she was with it you know she she was there um, she started thinking like samira she started talking like samira uh, and we were on the set we were doing our combination and i wasn't getting it right i thought uh, you know maybe i should change the way i play it and you know i i started talking to her and all that and so she was fiddling with a pen and you know she was scribbling something on the paper there i said just just sign samira and the way she signed it was very vulnerable actually she didn't she didn't she didn't look i mean the signature didn't look like the person who had come in search of a husband you know uh, she she the, i don't know something about it was very looked very vulnerable to me and that's where i picked it, picked it you know i mean if you see see the scene entirely if you play out the scene entirely uh, this guy actually felt very emotionally uh, i mean he felt sorry for her you know uh, the ambassador and that's where he picked it up uh, i mean you know i mean these are very small things that actually i don't think anyone notices it i mean take off police like four years back this is the first time someone is asking me that you know so most of the time no one notices anything you know <laughs> so uh, when i when, you know when, when my wife watches any of my films uh so i keep asking do you notice that you know i i had given this look did you notice that so most of the time i i you know it comes across is you know i i feel the people don't notice a lot of things that i don't i do and things that i don't do they notice it a lot you know so <laughs> <laughs> do you agree with our whole thesis about the fahad's eye acting <laughs> Oh, I, I we've written a long on film compare and we wrote a long yeah, yeah, yeah. about that you know so do you agree with our thesis about your eyes and how you act with your eyes i i actually i love that right up and uh, uh, you know uh, something i uh, want to uh, during trance i had seen the character pastor as a person who wears actually you know he wears uh, sunglasses even while he's performing on stage I didn't want his eyes to be seen, and the first day uh, I, I walked in, you know, to the sets, and I wanted to, you know, I walked into the costume and all that, and uh, I I wore that, and Anwar is sitting there and said, no, 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 you take that out, <laughs> no, I don't, you know, you can do whatever you want with your costumes or whatsoever, but you know, this much, just 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 leave that, you know. We need to see so, the eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. I I don't know. I mean, I I, I don't know. It's, it's it's just happening. I guess I don't know. Paul, well, speaking of trance, uh, that's a very physically intense role. Intense role, you know. Like there's so much of of physicality involved in that role. And at the other end of the spectrum, you have something like Nyan Prakashan, which seemingly doesn't, at least for the viewer, it seems like it's a more cool or casual kind of role. Mm-hmm. But as an actor, are both the same, or is one actually easier than the other? I personally think it's the same. It's okay. I yeah, it's it's the same. Uh, uh, I think the intensity of it is the same. Uh, the the way you approach it is the same. The you, you, to great extent, even the energy level is the same. I I I I see. It, I mean, I don't see a difference. Okay. You, you know, uh, I am performing, and I am very very much aware of that. And uh, uh, I know at points, I know it's stressful, and you know, uh, I, you feel that. You feel that. So for me, it's all the same. So basically, the point is that you are entering somebody else's psyche, and staying there is the difficult part. Trying to, I guess. I mean, I may sound a bit, uh, you know, but yeah, the idea is to be at least think like someone else. Okay. Uh, yeah. That and that I, is stressful. And and do you stay that way through the shoot? Uh, I mean, is that are you you carry that home somewhere? Um, at times, I guess, but uh, evidently, no. <laughs> I, I usually drive to work and drive back. because i i want to be in that you know uh, i i i want to leave that back in the uh, i mean work space and so not really no okay no. but is it true that you take about two days to get into character so you usually tell your directors to uh, sort of you know reshoot, get rid of the first two days and reshoot is yeah. that true <laughs> yeah. Really? yeah 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 my first two days is actually exercise so, yeah so it's, it's you know i never get it right you know so uh, so i i i mean i i request them you know you can just plan it this way 
and eventually on my phone we have eventually gone back and shot the first two days uh kumbhangi nights the first uh, thing we shot was my introduction me standing in front of the mirror and uh, like third day into shoot we realized that no that's not going to work we'll have to reshoot it then we shot the entire film and went back and shot that intro scene and that's but, when it worked but but while you're doing it you know that it's not right that it's not sitting it's not landing uh usually i uh, i i'd like to sleep over it and then see it another day and then take a call uh yeah i i'd like to move on to other scenes and then go back and see it um, while i do it i don't try to think whether it's right or wrong uh while i'm shooting i'll just do what's right and i mean post that uh, i i make sure to see my edits like uh, you know once in two days and, and that's like basically do you look at yourself on the monitor no no really not at all very rarely. no very rarely uh trans i did a lot because trans it was absolutely i didn't want the body language to look you know uh, i was not trying to imitate anyone uh, i was trying to play that as if, if i were to be a pastor how i would play so i was very really conscious about my body language you know i so trans i i i did you know i kept reviewing a lot fall when uh, again when anjali spoke about bangalore days she spoke about the, the scene where uh, you and nazria have a fight your characters have a fight and she said that was a single camera uh, 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 set up and first she shot your portions uh, and then and then she shot uh, nazria's portions and she said that when she was shooting nazria's portions you enacted your scenes with the same intensity that you did your portions do you re- do you feel that that like 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 you said earlier that even with your acting let's say that unless the co star is giving 100% even if they are not seen that your performance is not going to come out as as well as it's going to see i i think like i said you know my you know uh, how i i mean uh, during take off my interaction with parvati uh, i think it's see okay I, I, this is what i try when i can't get something right i try to get it right to the others so automatically i fall in place <laughs> this is what i do so it's it's very simple when you look at it you know you, you try cracking it a lot and you, at, at a point you realize that you can't crack it and then you let others crack it you and uh, so i mean the only way to do that is actually collaborating so for me uh, like i said i'm just as good as my you know my co-actor and i don't want to be better than my co-actor i just want to be as good as them after my first film flopped and didn't do well and i decided to go to us so there was a conversation i had with my dad and i said so my my dad actually introduced mohan lal so you know uh, so when i spoke to him he told me that see you have a rhythm you have an acting rhythm uh, and i know that uh, so if you are thinking of actually uh, taking up acting uh, i think uh, you should do it in a way that uh, you know it's happening it's happening from your stomach not from your brain you know so that was a very interesting advice actually you know i mean it, it's it's a, it's about how you see things how you want to see things you know i mean when he said uh, you know uh, think of thing from your head and do it from your stomach it's basically two perspectives so uh, so i think uh, yeah i mean that that's what i try to do i mean you know i mean you actually want to uh feel within the character and then emote to be honest if that film didn't work i mean um, if that film worked i don't think i would have come this far you know i would have i would have been a star for like 10 years and then i don't know what would have happened because the film didn't work uh i mean at least trying to be an actor so i mean yeah there's a, there's a huge difference <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you trying to tell us that you're not a star and you're just an actor? I mean, like it's a, I mean, not that it's just an actor, but you know that you're a star. Like I said, no. The first uh, uh, when when our interview started, I said I don't, I truly don't believe that I do it alone. Uh, I I need a Dinesh or a Sham or a Mahesh or a Amal or I, I need I need that. So I don't do it alone. So as long as I don't do it alone, I know that I don't want to make films. I'm huh? just an actor trying to make films. but at least in the tamil film industry there is this uh, belief that a lot of people uh, from the far flung you know areas that is not the a centers or whatever 
the reason they come to a movie is because of the face on the poster they don't know anybody they don't know like who the director is they don't know who the dop is all these are only cinephiles in the city is talking about all these things but the actual person like deep south wherever the reason he comes mm-hmm. is because he sees a face that he recognizes on a poster does is that true of the malayalam film industry as well i don't think so i i uh, especially in the last 10 years i think uh, the audience here they sort of prepare themselves for a film Yeah. you know uh, before they walk into a theater they sort of prepare themselves you know uh, that's something i've i've seen evidently in the last 10 years with the uh, people i interact with and so they they sort of uh, you know when they walk in for a rajmouli film they know that they're walking for rajmouli or they're walking for a rajkumar or they're walking for a finish cooking film so that sense of preparation is uh, i i see that with audience so um and i think uh, it functions differently here uh, it, it functions as uh, another entity here okay. so far tell me your five favorite performances in malayalam cinema i really need to know this mohanlal kiridam okay mamuti taniya vartanam new delhi uh tilakan kiridam and every single shot he's given in cinema uh Mr. Nedimudi Venu, all his films. Pick uh, one. Pick one. Dhanam. Okay. Dhanam was again. Um, I I I don't think the film did uh, well in the box office, but it was a film between uh, I remember Kiridam and uh, I mean two of their uh, you know very successful films. But I like the film, and I particularly liked uh, Venu Chetan, Mr. Nedimudi Venu. I, I mean there are so many actors. I mean yeah, you know yeah. my prime. I mean, I've, I've been greatly influenced by the uh, Malayalam cinema of the eighties. Uh, so, you know, like I said, uh, I always try to make a film, uh, you know, just out of the uh, energy I get out of watching a Padmaraj film or a Bharat film. So, uh, and you know, when you see those films, you know, those films which happened like twenty, twenty-five years back, and you see those actors, it's They like oh my god they they are they were so ahead of their times so, Tilagan sir and all uh, you know so I I don't know if he emoted for the people sitting on the screen or he emoted for the lenses I have no idea it's a different connect you get you know uh, yeah but when you uh, see something like uh, let's take Javanika right uh, K G George mm. <clears throat> uh, do you feel that something like that belongs to its time or do you think something like that would work even today absolutely i went and asked for the rights okay i went and asked for the rights but it's a i mean uh, it's a bit complicated i mean someone is writing a book about it and I, i'm not sure but i went and asked for the rights it's an amazing film see george sir's films if you look at lake edam or flashback e kani kudi it's each and every film I like it. I remember one flashback we watched. Now you can't take out a frame, or you can you cannot add a frame. It's so measured, you know. I mean, everything about the film is so correct. That's the case with every you know all all the films. K. G. Jhotsa, you know. I mean, there is uh, Adam and Devari. Uh, there are so many beautiful films, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you, we have a legacy of such films, and you know, I mean, uh, you. What I try to do is at least, you know, I mean, I I I want my films to be at least, uh, you know, uh, um, the sense that they discuss it, you know, uh, along with the other uh, classics that you have in Malayalam. I mean, that's more than enough for me. If you if you uh, they discuss my films with those films, that's more than enough for me. When you uh uh you know one of the things that 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 really stood out in that that the eighties Malayalam film that you're talking about is the writing. It was so strong, and then today again mm-hmm. people are talking about. Uh, how young writers are energizing malayalam cinema so what would you what would you like is it is it just two different kinds of writing or would you say that there was a like you know there's a sensibility then and today it's a, it's it's another kind of sensibility how do you uh, how do you see it see um uh, see i've heard that um, uh, mr lohit das he wrote the script of bharatam in two nights He, he wrote it on the sets, not two nights. He wrote it on the sets. You know, uh, they didn't have a set. Uh, I mean, they didn't have a script for the shoot. They started rolling, and uh, he finished it overnight or something like that. So I believe that happened very organically, like you know, uh, and and that's. I mean, what I try to do is that. You know, I mean, uh, see, 
if you can't write don't write just write what you can write or what you want to write i mean i mean do i make sense i mean I, if you can't do it like that i mean it's not organic you know that's great kar before we let you go one last question what sure. what do you think is key to being a really good actor like if you had to give one piece of advice to all the people out there who want to be you know in the same league as you what what is the key to that it's very easy to be in the same league as me uh, i i just uh, if you're looking at someone who wants to be a good actor i think what he needs to be is to be very honest you know he needs to be brutally honest to realities it doesn't mean that he should be talking the truth or he should be uh, you know um, spreading good messages around or you know anything like that uh, he should be honest about the reality he should actually know what's happening yeah he should accept it nice great to finally 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 uh, interact with you so absolutely absolutely i, I didn't know this would be so easy you know if, if it was i would have done this more often. Thank, thank you, you so much for thank you thank you thank, thank you, you so much sir. thank you ma'am absolutely beautiful thank you thank you, thank you.